Yo, what is going on guys, it's your boy Load here, and today I'm going to be talking about how I did in Balor's tournament. So recently, Balor hosted a SSF2 tournament that was about, I think it was 197 participants in that. All the best top players were here, or most of them were here, as far as I know. I got seated as 34, so in my first round, I had to play uh, Moose Men's, or Mo I don't know how you say his name, it was like Moose. And if I remember correctly, I th I'm not entirely sure, I forgot what character he played, I think. I think I want to say he was a Pac-Man, but I don't remember. I think he was a Pac-Man. I don't know, but um, uh, I won that 2-0 easily. Like I remember, he, he he didn't know what he was doing, and I I went Ichigo most of the tournament. I only pulled out my Luigi uh, against two players. The two players I actually lost to. So um, huh? Maybe that's a sign. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I beat my first round easily too, and um, I knew that I was gonna do well in my bracket until I got to maybe my third round, and that's when I'd have to fight like he. I was like you know like. The la or the best player back in uh, 9B. Uh, so he he got seated too in this tournament. So like I knew like if I got to him I'd probably lose. So like but I had a pretty easy route there. So um in my second uh, round I had to play a uh, Derpa, who had he was a I remember like it, it was really oh he he was the Game and Watch. There we go. He was he's Mr. Game and Watch. I played um. Ichigo. So when we started off we I uh, accidentally set the uh, stocks to two. So I two stocked them. And then we realized that we we're supposed to be set to four stocks, so we replayed the whole thing. And then, like, we had to, you know, go back to um four stocks. And I asked him, "Do I get to, do I still get my two stocks, or do we have to play the whole thing?" He's like, "You know, let's play the whole thing." And me being me, you know, I'm courteous, so I was like, "Okay, sure, um, we can start over again." So we start over again, and then he um he ends up beating me that first match. And I'm just like, "Dang!" And I was so mad because I'll, I knew what he was doing. I knew exactly what he was doing. So um, uh, second round, I take him to uh, Yoshi Story my Ichigo. That's a really good stage for him, and my and I, oh, I believe so. You can get early kills. You cover like a lot of the stage with your big sword. So uh, I beat him there pretty easily. I think it was like a three stock. And then we go to the final match. He counterpicks to, I want to say, oh, he counterpicks to Castle Siege. And I don't normally plan that stage, but I knew what he was doing, and that was like a easy thing for me. So I adapted really easily. I think I three stocked him that that match too to move on to my third round, where obviously Kios was waiting for me. Like, or Ki I don't even know how you say his name, Kios, Kios. I don't know. My, my bad if I butchered your name, but I had to play him. And uh, I honestly I didn't really know what to expect. I, I expected um a zero two Samus like he played um back in nine B, but um so I went Ichigo, but then uh, he ended up uh, actually using a Pac Man. And he started using tech that I was not, I was familiar with, but I've never experienced it or gone against it. So I was still trying to learn while I was playing. Like, I, I remember, like, you could hit, like, the Galgas. Like, he would drop Galgas and stuff. And it was just, the way he played was really weird. Like, um, on top of the, the tech that I didn't know, he was obviously a better player than I was by, uh, I know, a significant margin. I think, uh, first match, I went Ichigo, and I think uh, he two-stalked me on smashville and then uh second match i switched to my luigi and i uh bring him down one stock and i counter pick dreamland because i had more space more time to fireball and stuff but um he was just still a better player uh, player than i was so you know he definitely ends it out over me and then i only brought him the one stock that last match so uh, i get dropped in the losers bracket and losers was extremely behind so i had to wait a, a decent amount of time before i got to play my uh, losers bracket opponent so in my first round in losers i had to play against this player called uh, astico he was a link. Um, I believe he was a link main, and um, he was actually really easy to, uh, to to play. He was like, I don't know, he just wasn't, you know, wasn't good. So um, no offense to him. So uh, the first match it was uh, Link Ichigo on, I believe it was Smashville. I think we gentlemen Smashville again, and then um, I think I two stocked him actually. And then second match he counter picks me to um, po uh, Pokemon Coliseum. And then, um, he was really easy. Um, his link wasn't like really good. He didn't, he didn't use his projectiles as much. And if he did, I power shielded him easily. And, uh, it was just an easy win for me. Uh, so then I move on to my next round in losers. And this is like, I saw this and like, I knew if I beat my next opponent, then I'd, I'd beat like the next round easy because he was a lower seed. He just got like a lucky bracket. So like, I was like, okay, I want, I want this, I want Vash. His name was Vash. I practiced with him a couple times and we were, we were, um, I think we were two and two in set, and I honestly, like, I believed that I could beat him. So, um, last time I, I trashed him with my Luigi, so I go Luigi game one, uh, against him because I thought he used Falco, but it turns out he ended up using Fox, and he absolutely destroyed my Luigi. He four stocked my Luigi on, um, Smashville. But I knew what he was doing, so I was like, oh, okay, then I'm just gonna switch to Ichigo. Ichigo should have been what I used, uh, there anyway, so, um, I think I kind of picked him to Dreamland. I, I, uh, use the top platform, use my platform and stuff movement because, um, all he do, all he would do is uh, jump nair or short hop nair and then shine. So I would just stay out of the range of that and then like pick my um, 
moments when I, when I could. Uh, the thing about playing against Vash was that, like, it pissed me off because, like, I knew, like, you know, Johns, I took the L, I lost to him, but the thing about it is, like, the game was definitely lagging, and the thing about me and Vash is that, like, I guess we're kind of rivals, but, like, we both, or at least he told me, but I know, I, I can read him like an open book, I know exactly what he's gonna do before he does it all the time. The problem is that I just can't properly execute it because I'm online, and there was not really bad lag to the point where we couldn't play, but significant lag where I couldn't play correctly. But um, because, you know, it wasn't terrible lag, I was like, whatever, I'll take the L. Like, I know I can beat him. I'll just get him next time. But I was really salty after that match, and I think he three-stuck me after that. And then I was eliminated from the tournament, and I think I ended up getting 29th. I got 29th. So, uh, yeah, I had a pretty good run. This is my first online tournament. Um, I think it's pretty good for my first tournament online. I hate playing online, but it is what it is. This is where all, like, the top players and stuff are. So I guess I just got to get used to it and... um. I still will always love uh, offline way better. So, um, yeah, thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.